Hey guys, tonight we're here at the Standard Hotel in Miami Beach where they are hosting an election watch party. As you can see behind me, a bunch of people are eagerly awaiting to see who will be the next president of the United States. Hosted by drag Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, people here tell me that the election is a mess. However, coming together makes it a little bit easier. The Standard Hotel has been putting together watch parties throughout the election. It's a mess! It's crazy, but it's exciting that today's the last day. Voters have been able to come together to eat, drink, and mingle while watching the results of one of the most crucial elections this country has ever seen. Any context, what makes America great is that we have an opportunity to come together to share different views and to find, even in the times when we may not agree, um, places where we do agree. The event was fun filled with lots of emotion. People were drinking politically themed drinks like Madam Prez and Trump TV Ugh, while playing political scandal trivia. Attendees also filled out Canadian passport applications in case their nominee did not win. It's a dog and pony show, right, Yoder? Right? Yes, it's ridiculous. Because it's really, you know, when you have someone running for the country who says he's going to grab women in the and you have a woman who's known for lying, it's really sad. This is what it's come down to. When you feel powerless, what else can you do? You joke about these things. Whether people voted for Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, a third party candidate, or Harambe the Gorilla, Many people are upset with the lack of coverage on the topics they find to be important. It's not even about the issues anymore or policies. It's just been like a personality contest. And really what people care about are the issues. And I think that, sadly, like that's not what's been the main focus. But one thing is for certain. Voters believe that this election has pushed people to be more politically active in their communities. And even though the nation may be divided, it's nothing some good food and a few drinks can't fix. Go out and vote. Make history. This is Nicole Meyer reporting for Bay News TV.